it's another Saturday, about 6 o'clock at night. Not too hot out. It's about, I don't know, 85 degrees. I'm trying to get my bike running. I seem to have this, this uh, great plant and it's taking over my house. It's kind of like one of those 1950 horror movies. Anyway, I want to finish up this series on my bike before I take it out and ride it. What I have to do is put the the front and the rear nut on the bike and secure them. And I want to show you how I'm going to do that just real quickly and then I'm going to do it. <clears throat> Those are real nice if you got bad knees. I have real good knees. It's just that being on concrete, these, these do help a lot. So this is a, a tool from Motion Pro right here. That's a, it's a really good website. They also sell what's called a clutch cage, which is like what I use beyond this bell right here. You, it's about $150, $175. It works really good, but it's expensive. But what I have is a nut right back here for the clutch and the rear wheel. And what I like to use on that is the thread locker blue. This is your standard Permatex. I don't know, you can probably get different things from different places. But on the Permatex and this gel, I kind of like that. Um, if you reef hard enough on, on your um, socket wrench, you can take it off. Now on the front variator crankshaft nut right here, I'll use the Permatex Red High Strength. And what that mean, basically means, sorry there's dust on, on everything, I haven't got, got to this in a while, is that once you put this stuff on and it stays on there, you need a heat gun to get it off, which is good and bad. It's good if I always had a problem with this nut where there was so much torque on the engine for some reason it would back this nut off and this my variator would go loose especially a mile or two miles from home I have to walk it home and it was really getting me pissed off so this uh, oh whoops sorry I, I hit that accidentally this tool right here holds the clutch or the, the, uh, the clutch bell so that you can get a um, socket on here and, and and get this. You can also make one at home if you like. The way I like to do the front, if I don't use my a zip gun, and that's a quarter inch zip gun, the, my three quarter I'm not going to use because I don't want to fire up the air compressor. I'll just take my snap on, let's see, I got this about 30 years ago when I was doing auto body and they made really good tools back then that made in America and everything but what I like to do is to stick it on a block of wood and put it right in here against this little rib and then I'll put my red thread lacquer on here right there and tighten the, the nut down it's not so important how hard you tighten the nut down with red thread locker but it is important in trying to get it off another thing about race fuel one thing about race, race fuel when you run your bike you want to look at like little spots on the ground that may not may not should not be there if you can if you look right here in this uh, what a vortex? No, it's a air, what the hell it's called. It's called a um, shit. Uh, I'm trying to think. Come off a Norton motorcycle. And it's a an air horn. But with this leak right here shows me that this um, racing fuel that I'm using, wherever my wife hit it at, she has to move shit around all the time. And the place has got to be so perfect. Somebody will make him come by and look at it. I'm going to give a fuck who comes by and looks at this house. I'm trying to live here, damn it. It's not, I'm not waiting for better homes and Honda Dio to show up and do a photo spread on my bike and your, your, your sofa. 
I, I, am I wrong? Am I wrong here, guys? Am I wrong? Okay, I'm going to tighten this down. Take two hands. Turn out some tunes. And maybe I'll even get to write it tonight. That'd be nice. 